All right, the third block we're going to cover, and the first one was a low block, the second one was the middle block, this is the high block. So when you do a high block, you come up, now it's funny because a lot of people, they'll just raise their hand up, and it, it won't work that way. You've got to come up from the tan can, bring it out of there, shoot it up at an angle, like an uppercut, and then pop the elbow out. So you're like this, and you create a roof over your head. If I had two, they'd be just like this. It doesn't have to be over here, and as a matter of fact, that sort of puts the, the shoulder out of the position. Uh, if somebody's straight down on you, you wouldn't use a high block, you use a cross wrist, or you'd step off to do your high block. So a simple high block goes like that. And prepare the other hand when you do it. And when I'm stepping back, hand and feet together. Hand start together, foot, and boom. I sink the weight as I close the fist and I turn it over. And one thing that is very important is make sure that you're looking through the plane of your hand. You'll see that it's like this, okay? So I'm looking through that. And what that does is it creates a hard bone as a blocking surface. If I'm afraid I'm going to get bruised by doing that, I can always turn it to the side. I don't want to turn it like this because that would expose the soft tendons. But if I turn it like this, there's a bone, very sharp, should be very cutting. Uh, most people punch and leave themselves open for a lot of pain when you hit them with that. Uh, to demonstrate the usability, my partner, hand. Do one of those old-fashioned high blocks. You can raise that hand up. Hmm. Can you raise it a little harder? Uh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me use two fingers. Oh, no, no. Am I stronger than your whole arm with just my two fingers? <laughs> yeah. All right. So obviously he's doing it wrong for the camera. If he was to cut it up from the tan can, right below the, the navel, here comes the energy, and it comes straight up. And now I'm trying to stop an uppercut, and to help it, he's going to angle it so that it will push back. So if I'm like this, resist. I just push on up. Now, I had to slight angle change it, but you can see much more power coming out of there. Let's say he punches to my face. Zingo bingo again. Yeah, we don't like that one. There's a red mark there for a second. Uh, I come across right there. I'm not hitting anything in particular. If I can get the soft part, that would be great. But, boom, I just pop it out. And there's the uppercut and the elbow, boom. Or whatever I need to do to get in there and get the job done. So it's not just a block, it's a strike with a block. And here's a sort of interesting little thing that people don't see. Punch me with that hand. As I flip him to the side and then I do a high block, and I'm actually doing sort of an advanced throw there, almost Tai Chi. But the main thing is there, he punches. Pop, it hurts, and we get equal time. But I'm going to reach him first because I'm set up, and he threw it, and he lost it. So that's pretty much it. And again, same thing with the forms. You go here and punch. Well, if I'm here and he attacks, and I go in here, then I can start clearing the area out. Uh, Pretty important to clear the area out if you're in a bunch of people, throw people back into each other, that kind of stuff. And you get down to the original meaning of the classical Japanese uh, Okinawan forms. Um, they're supposed to guard against a whole bunch of people and you know, guard their king in a little small room. Eh, clear the troops out, get the king out of the room, that kind of stuff. Uh, there's been some good stuff. Shotokan Secret is a good book that will actually tell you all about that. But I always recommend Matrix Karate and the Master Instructor course because those have all of the things about the angles of the arms and how to use them for, for not just the blocks, but for all of what you're doing in the martial arts and in karate. Uh, that's the real hard course stuff. This is just a snippet. Try out those courses. Check them out on my website. And thank you.